Hi guys, you're welcome back again to my channel and um, today we are going to be looking at transformer. It is important for you to understand the circuit symbol of transformer and then this part is a part you plug into your mains, probably your 220 voltage or 230 voltage. Now this is the number of coil in the primary, the current in the primary, the voltage in the primary. This is a secondary part that gives you whatsoever you're looking for. Now this is a secondary coil the secondary current, the secondary voltage. Your transformer can either be step down or step up transformer. I am going to start with a step down transformer. Now for a step down transformer, the number of coil in the secondary is lesser than the number of coil in the primary. That is the NS is lesser than NP. All the parameters you have here are lesser than the parameters you have here. Um, for your step up transformer now the number of coil determines the current you have if you have higher coil you have higher current and higher voltage so the number of tons of coil you have determines if your transformer is going to be the step down or step up transformer so if the number of coil you have here is actually higher than this then this, this transformer is going to be a step up transformer but if the number of tons of current of coils you have here is lesser than the number of coil you have here so automatically you have a step down transformer all right so i'm going to give you the transformer equation i have this some um, very short acronym or probably a short code for you not to forget um, the equation all i do first i will write v n i the same thing over v n i then I put my equal sign. Okay, so I can decide to put S S P. If this is S S P, then this will be P P S. And I can use P P S S S P. So whichever way you want. So I have three equations in this particular equation, which can be um, V X over V P equals to N S over N P. Okay, that's the first one. I also have um, Vs over Vp equals to Ip over Is. Then the last one is Ns over Np equals to Ip over Is. Power and transformer. We have the power input and the power output. Remember the input section of your transformer is the primary section, okay? So, um, and remember your power is current and voltage, that is IV. So that means I'm going to have IP, V, P as the power input. Now the power output is IS, VS, because the secondary section of the transformer is the output section of the transformer. Now, in order for us to calculate efficiency of a transformer, okay, that is our efficiency now is going to be the power output over the power input. Power output over power input times 100, okay, so which can be IS VS over IP VP times 100. 